East African Highland Bananas, commonly known as Matoke, is an important staple food crop in East Africa. Uganda has the highest per capita consumption in the world of 220 kilograms per person per year. Bananas is a crop that is grown by many, many people in this country. More than half the population of the country depends on bananas for food and for income. The crop is currently faced with a disease called banana bacterial wilt that has ravaged banana crops across the country for over a decade. This disease has capacity to cause 100% loss on a plantation. Uh, around about 2000, this wilt was reported in central Uganda, around Kayunga. Farmers were reporting a disease that caused the plant to wilt. It means the plant just dies, gets sick and dies. And, and the disease was rapidly spreading, affecting all, different, all the different varieties, which means that any type of banana out there in the farm was uh, succumbing to this disease. We got this, uh, this disease, but as time went on, the, the disease went on with a high speed. Up to this time, the, the disease has gone as far as you see. It has spoiled each and every plant here. The whole village has got this problem. Every banana plantation has got this problem. We, we no longer get any food here, from here. Not only farmers have been affected by banana bacterial wilt, traders and consumers have also been victims of the disease. The <laughs> As a means of controlling the spread of this disastrous disease, scientists have recommended various methods such as high vigilance, quick removal of infected plants, removal of the male bird, as well as disinfecting the tools used. More recently, the most promising solution to this problem has been through development of resistant bananas using modern agricultural biotechnology. And what you see in the background here are bananas uh, that we have developed uh, using a new breeding method of genetic engineering. So they are GMO bananas. We tested those bananas in the greenhouse, uh, in the field, and we found that they were 100% resistant. I, I think that uh, what NARO has positioned itself to do is to use biotech where other methods have failed. Some farmers in the southwest have lost a whole crop, you know, a whole garden due to bacterial wilt and sometimes they really don't know what to do. <laughs> Despite the benefits of genetically modified bananas, Lack of a required policy environment will make farmers wait to have these crops on their farms. For the last four years, we have produced materials which are immune. But having said that, to be able to commercialize those products, we have to be allowed by government through biotechnology and biosafety which has not been passed up to now. So until that law is passed, what we are producing will not get to the farmers. The government of Uganda has substantially invested in biotech research and development for more than a decade, but a law on biotechnology and biosafety is needed to give banana farmers in Uganda an option of combating the devastating banana bacterial wilt.